So this is from the integral calculus test number three, and it's a kinematics problems. We're looking at a particle moving along an x-axis with some acceleration given by cos t uh, for positive values of time, such that when t is zero, the velocity of the particle is two, that's important, and the position is five. So we need to write an expression for the velocity of the particle. Well, we know the relationship between acceleration and velocity, which gives us the integral of the acceleration is the velocity. The acceleration is cos of t, so we integrate that, which we know is sine of t plus the constant of integration. That's our first point. Then we know that the initial velocity is 2, so we can plug that in and solve for c. So c plus sine of 0 is 2. We know that sine of 0 is 0. And so the constant of integration is 2, therefore the velocity function is sine of t plus 2. Next, we need an expression for the position. So again, if we integrate the velocity, we get the position. So the position is the integral of sine t plus 2 with respect to t. That gives us um, the, the integral of sine is negative cos minus cos of t plus 2t plus c, integral of 2 being 2t. Then the initial position is given to be 5, so negative cos of 0 plus 2 times 0 plus c is 5. Solving that, we end up with c equaling 6. Putting it all together, the um, position function is minus cos of t plus 2t plus 6. Okay. Then, moving on to part C, we need to take for what values of t is the particle moving to the right and justify. The main thing is just two points here, but we need to know when is velocity positive. Just like physics, remember, velocity has a direction. Okay? So, this is our velocity function from the previous part, sine of t plus 2. When is that positive? It's positive whenever sine is greater than negative 2. So here's the justification. Sine is always greater than negative 2. So for all values of t. Finally, in this question, we're asked to find the total distance traveled by the particle from time is 0 to pi over 2. So the distance traveled can be found by taking the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the velocity. When you take the integral of the velocity function of sine t plus 2, you get minus cos t plus 2t plus some constant. In this case, we found it to be 6 before. Evaluate that at pi over 2 and at 0. And, uh, uh oh, you have to be male. Okay, and from there, evaluating, we will see that we get pi plus 1, okay? Minus cos of pi over 2, and here we have a pi, cos of 0 is 1, and, sorry, this is 0, and then that's 0, everything drops off. Okay, that is number 3.